Hey guys, welcome back to another beautiful day today in Norway. Actually, it's been raining for weeks and today it finally cleared up and I'm super excited because we are testing out the SharkBite HD0 system that I just brought home from America. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going on here. So the system I'm using is the pretty stock system. Basically we have the Runcan Nano here in the front and actually I'm using the double board VTX which is the TX5M.1. It's 500 milliwatt. I happened to find one so I just went ahead and purchased it because my goal here is to do some long range but we'll get into that later. Uh, for the antenna I'm using this VAS, uh, I think it's a Minion antenna, I'm not sure it's kind of random. And over here we have the standard VRX that's available at the moment and for the antennas I'm actually just using using a couple random ones. This is an Omni made by Luminary, and this is a patch made by Immersion RC. But we're just gonna go ahead and get this thing into the air. So let's take a first flight. Here we go. Alright, cool. So we made it back from uh, our first flight. That was pretty successful. I did a little tour around the property. I went through some tree areas. I did a little bit of distance. I was just trying to see what the system is capable of in its current state and basically to get some initial impressions. So let's go ahead and talk about those. I guess the first thing I'll talk about, which is kind of the elephant in the room when it comes to digital HD systems, is of course the image quality. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't horribly impressed with the image quality, um, but here's what I'll say. Up close, the image quality actually looks quite nice, uh, better than my analog system for sure. But actually when you're far out and you're kind of a little bit of distance from things, the analog system and the HD system aren't horribly different. Uh, I attribute this to one thing specifically because I think the system itself is pretty capable. I think the nano cam is really just trying too hard. The sensor on the nano cam, the lens, everything about it is really not designed for optimal quality, optimal image quality. Um, it's more designed for lightweight, smaller quads. And I think for what it does, it does it really well. Uh, if you're getting close up to things like you are when you're racing, I think it's a great camera. Uh, but for my goals, which are gonna be long range, I think it's not what I want. But I'm pretty excited because I actually have an HD0 micro cam that's going to be delivered in the next week. So that's going to be a huge improvement over this nano cam. So we'll go ahead and we'll talk about image quality when we get that set up. Let's go ahead and talk about range now. Uh, again, I was a little underwhelmed or disappointed. Basically, when we were flying out, when we were going past trees, we were definitely getting a lot of breakup in the trees. And when we went out a little bit of distance, it was getting to maybe 800 meters before I was getting enough breakup where I didn't feel comfortable flying, so I came back. Um, but I know why, and it's not the system's fault, it's my fault. I was using some random right-hand circular polarized antennas. The SharkBite system comes stock with two right-hand circular polarized patches, and so I really wanted to match those. All of my good antennas that I have currently are left-hand circular polarized, and so we're gonna have to do something to see if we can't improve the range. I'll be right back. Yeah, so I need a little bit more range. Um, with my analog system, I can do seven kilometers out with perfect video, no problem. So the type of flying I do is mountain surfing or woods exploration. And that's my goal for the SharkBite system is to be able to do those sort of things. So here's my thought process and here's what we're gonna try to see if we can't get a little bit more range today. Check it out. Okay, so what I've done is I've removed the small VAS Minion antenna and I've replaced it with this long True RC OCP antenna. The problem is, is that this OCP antenna is left-hand circular polarized, which is not going to match the stock patches on the VRX. But that's okay, because look what else we put on the VRX. These insane homemade garbage helicals. If you haven't seen my video, you gotta check it out. These things are awesome. This is an old button from a political campaign, and this is a lid from a pasta sauce container. These things cost me literally nothing, and they're amazing. I go seven, eight kilometers with them, no problem. 
So we're gonna ignore these two patch antennas and we're just gonna see if we can get a little bit more range up here. Uh-oh, uh. Okay, so the weather has changed a little bit. We have a snowstorm coming in over the mountain now. That's how Norway is. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and do the range test anyway. We'll see how far we can get. Let's go. Yeah, cool. That was a success, you guys. Um, we definitely didn't do anything crazy as far as range. 1.3 kilometers isn't so amazing. But before, we were only getting about 800 meters. So that actually, that's a pretty big improvement, especially considering that we're only using half the antennas properly. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and order another one of these OCP antennas, but I'm going to order it in the right-hand circular polarized. Then I'm going to go ahead and make two new helical antennas that are right-hand circular polarized to match the stock patches on the VRX. And with that, we should be able to get some pretty good range. I think I'd be happy with three or four kilometers, um, but the ultimate goal is definitely to get six or seven kilometers out of the system. If we could do that reliably, I would easily give up my analog system and switch over to this Fat Shark HD Zero system, especially once I get that new micro cam, which I'm super jazzed about. I think this is a great introduction to this Fat Shark HD Zero system. I'm super excited about these future improvements. I'm going to order those parts tonight and we'll go ahead and build some new antennas and we'll try to push the system a little bit further. I have a path up here called the Gauntlet and it's essentially an ultimate test for penetration and my analog system can currently bust through there just barely. And I'm going to go ahead and see if we can't get this uh, Fat Shark HD Zero system through there using the right antennas. And then we'll also be taking a little trip somewhere and we'll go out and just set up a nice range test and see how much range we can get out of the system. So I'm excited to see what we can do with this system. I hope you guys are too. Stay tuned. Till next time. See ya.